And we are back here at Core Farms. We are going to have a really fun day. Today, we are doing harvest. We have got a big old field of rye. We've got some linseed, which turns out is not purple flowers after all. It was not done growing yet. And we've got a couple fields up here. These may look like they've been harvested, but they haven't. We've got some field beans here. I think this is four fields. Four pretty decent sized fields of field bean. I could probably plow those together if I could pull those hedges up. Nonetheless, we're going to have some fun. One thing that I have noticed is that rye either... I never noticed it or something, but rye is now in the grain mill. So we're going to be taking all of our rye over there to the grain mill. I don't know where to take the other stuff. It looks like the linseed is just a completely sell it and can't be used for production. So that's fine. And then filled beans, I'm kind of seeing the same thing here. It doesn't look like we're able to take this to any production chain or anything like that. So uh, those will just be sold off immediately, but the rye will be further processed. So let's have a little bit of fun and I've kind of got my, combine, my poor combine harvesters back into a corner. This is actually gonna be pretty fun because I think it's been since the first one or two episodes since I've done field beans. So this is kind of exciting. We'll double check, make sure there's nothing we need to do. I don't believe field beans give you straw and none of the production chain, or not production chains, none of the third party mods I've got installed should add this. So. Yeah, also it's a little bit dark. We are kind of still morning-ish in November. It's not gonna be the brightest outside, but I'm doing my best here. Uh, we've also got some grass that has grown a little bit overnight, which is good, but I think we're probably just gonna let that be. We may try and mow it in December, January, depending on if it's even around. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm not using a Geo or anything like this. A Geo, well, those are the that thing of the past. I'm not doing anything with the crop calendar. I've got actually growth turn off, and I just monitor and kind of utilize it the way that I want to. I'm kind of mirroring the U.S. Midwest Geo from farming simulators of past. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, also, I think I'm just going to drive straight through here again. Yeah, that, that worked. There's no straw, so I'm really not too worried about it. And it's not like I'm gonna hire a worker on any of this. We're, we're just harvesting, man. We're just harvesting. And we head straight across into the new section of the field right here. This is the section that when it wasn't here the last time, we kind of had to go around it and it did not do well for us. Here, however, this is good. I wanted to get, bring you guys along just so you could see this. That's the first time we've done anything with it. I didn't even mow it whenever it was a grass field. So. Uh, yeah, there, uh, there you go. And then we just kind of pick up here for round two. So let's, uh, let's go all the way around. We're at 16,000 liters right now, which you would look at and say, that's oh, pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's going around two edges of four fields. So I don't actually know if it's good or bad. I don't know. We'll see when we get around a second time. Whoops, kind of doubled, uh, 30,000 liters. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. Again, I, I have no idea if this is good or, or, or bad. I, I don't know how, about field beans. Yep, uh, I don't know. Let's finish harvesting all four of these fields and see what we get. Okay, well, here we are. We've got 88,923 liters. That's pretty good, I think. And all of these fields is done. It was actually really quick. You can see a couple spots where I turned around, stuff like that. What I ended up doing was, of course, we started, uh, where's the Oh, over here. So we started here, of course, went all the way around and then back up like that and rejoined it. Well, after doing that, I think about three times, I ended up just kind of going back and forth through here. And then I got kind of a straight edge here. So went back and forth through there. And that's what brought us to that point right there. <laughs> there you go. Now time, well, I would say to do a little bit of carting, but we need to go take this and sell it. So we have our field beans, but now we need to figure out where in the world we're going to take it. See, 2135, 2150, ooh, 24, hello, 25, hey, and there it is. Tag the place, town stores. Where in the world is town stores? All the way down here. I think we've been there before. Yeah, right here. <laughs> hey, oh, we've been here a couple times. Uh, also, I've always tried to go over this area. This has been so, did you see that? I like ran into something. Hang on. We're gonna pull up our F5 menu real quick and figure out what's going on. Um, 
that is... Is it the edge of the map? Um... I don't... I don't actually know what what that meant, but yeah, I think that's the edge of the map. I don't think we're actually able to go through through the yeah, because that's where the that little re line right there, the oxygen David puts those in. Okay, well, uh, remind me not to try and jump that again because that was a bad idea. We're just gonna come through here and sell this. This is gonna be some good money too, dude. Yeah. All right, pull it in. Bam, bam. Dump it out. I don't remember how long this trailer takes to unload. It is very quick. All right, so there is 50,000, 30, and money, $224,000. Cool. Let's go do that linseed. All right, so now we gotta jump in here. Oh, did I really just turn that off? I did. Let's go forward, and I also wanna make sure that we turn that straw swath back on, just in case I don't, I don't actually know what's gonna happen here, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Let's pull through. Uh, please. Okay, good. Crop destruction's turned off. This is a tough map to use really big equipment on, so I've completely turned crop destruction just off because there's no way to do it. Uh, let's see. Let's start. And yeah, we can start down here at the bottom of the field. It'll help us turn around once ever we get back down to the bottom. And are we good? I think we're good. Turn it on. Rock and roll. Uh, let's see. Straw swath is on. It's, it's dropping a swath. Hey, well, that's kind of cool. Linseed, man. Yeah, I don't think I've harvested linseed yet. This is a an interesting thing. It's kind of new. How much are we getting? Decent amount. I mean, it's not crazy. Also, what is linseed anyway? Uh, I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, nonetheless, so uh, let's run, uh, run a little Helen. Just looks like it's like any other crop. Yeah, and we're done. There you go. Uh, 24,000 liters again. I have no idea if that's good or not, but but I'm done, so that's good. Yeah, all right, now let's cart this out and figure out where in the world we're gonna sell it. So the best price here is going to be Gordon Center. The unfortunate part is it is way up at the top right hand corner. We are here. There's really no straight road. We've done this before, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna just go straight across a bunch of fields or not. I think what I'm gonna try and do is Go straight across enough until we can hit a road without having to come through and go over water. Because that was fun in a four-wheeler. It's not going to be fun in this. Well, I found a couple bridges, got across some water, and we are straight on, ready to rock. All I got to do is stay on this road and we're good. That was pretty easy. And we're here. Hey, oh, oh, oh. and we're here. Yeah, without crashing into totally anything. Pricing on this not insane but it is gonna be okay it's gonna sell pretty quickly as well yeah there you go we're done um 29,000 not n not really good enough to do linseed again yeah and we are back over here now so here's gonna be the game plan for this setup number one I need to set this card over here because we're probably gonna need it eventually there we go we got that I turned the combine off again. Come on, DJ. Get it together, man. Can I turn these lights off? I, it's good enough. It looks better on the monitor than it does on, on the gameplay, but it's fine. So we'll come through here. We'll double check just to make sure that our straw swath is enabled. Yes, it is. And we will start. This is going to be one of those. I'm going to try and run two headlands. I'm probably going to have to doctor it up a little bit down at the bottom. But once we do that, we'll hire this on a worker, let them go back and forth for us while we pick up the straw and do a little bit of carting, as well as picking stuff up from the other field. So we still got straw there too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the one that we've got or I'm just gonna say, forget about it and get the, the big one. Or we may get an attachment. Ooh, we could do that. So here we are after the headlands and I have no idea what to do here generally i line it up and make a beeline that way and then just kind of fill this in and then let him do his thing that way i think that's probably what i'm gonna do again it's just yeah we gotta get down there yep we all right here's the spot we've got a little bit going on to the left a little bit going on to the right i think in order to hit this we can kind of see some straight lines here in the field. What I'm gonna do is just try and line this up here and then 
try and get it to a point where it'll hire a worker on this line. I think about right there. Hire the worker. To do it. To do it. Uh not not exactly the the, the line. There you you go and God, these guys are idiots. So this is the line that it's supposed to go on. I know a lot of people like the MTA or multi-terrain angle. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so unpredictable. It's like, oh, yeah, we could do more lines. Figure it out. Did use a mod or something. I like using workers and multi-terrain angle sucks for workers. Urgh. All right, I'm gonna go rage quit for a minute, go get some coffee and come back. I'm not better now, but God, that's such, oh, it's so stupid. Ah, it should have been almost straight with this. Look, this is a straight line. Even in the ground, you can see it. He's like, nope, I'm going that way. And am I gonna do that? No. And you know what, just for that, I'm using my, my straw pickup. I don't even care anymore. All right, line this up appropriately, maybe with the, the lines in the field. Right about there, yeah. I think that's straight on enough. Yes, you see that? He almost wasted an entire row just for this crap. Oh, rabble. And of course, we gotta come all the way back over here just to make this happen. I think this will reach the other side. Should have worked perfectly fine the first time. Um, so I'm just gonna keep complaining until uh, it's not annoying anymore. I don't know. Uh, there's that. We do need to do a bit of carting. So let's grab this and of course he's gonna add to the size of that pile right there. Let's head up here. We'll do a bit of carting. Let's see if I can get through here. Yeah, there we go. We'll do this and then remember all of this is going up to the green mill. So I could go ahead and take that literally right now with no issues, no problems, nada. And finally the workers doing what I tell them to do. Cool. Um, and yeah, we are, uh, I think now we're to the point I'm going to get rid of the, uh, uh, what you call it, the other thing. I'm gonna get rid of the, the loading wagon that we've got and we'll get my cheaty one. I think we're to that point. Hate to see it go, but it is just not efficient anymore. Omatana, you make an awesome mod and you did a really good job with that. Let's save it. Let's head down here. <laughs> Let's cheat like we always do. What are you gonna do, right? Uh, configuration, we'll stick with a standard, the one mil. I don't really know what's in the field. Sometimes weird things happen. So yeah, that'll be perfectly fine. Uh, wheel brands, I think I'm using Michelin's for this setup or or maybe Trello board, I don't know. Windrow system, that's good. Uh, most of this stuff's gonna go to John Deere. So design, the regular bit, but the rim colors, of course, well, that's obvious. And there it is. Also, uh, it doesn't have brakes for some reason. So it decides to, We'll do what it wants to do when it wants to do it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Grab it, drop it down, turn it on, go, go, go. I have seen people asking me about this. Uh, this is a third party mod um, and you can, I think it's from Papa Smurf. They, I think they did the conversion of this into FarmSim 22. I downloaded this like a week after 22 released and modified it and I haven't updated it since. So, yeah, uh, easy to find. Um, just the rapid windrow. It's not magic, but boy, oh boy, is it awesome. All right, so there's that. And then now we get to do this. We'll go ahead and run the full headland around this, and then we'll just start kind of going back and forth until we catch up with the harvester. I think the harvester could probably finish this field on his own, so I'm not going to force... Uh, force too much on it. I'm not gonna take over or anything like that. I'm just letting him do his thing. Also, uh, yes, all of those po uh, the poles are invisible. It's kind of nice. We have our first load of rye and the, well, the second load's probably gonna be <laughs> 15,000. So don't expect too much. <laughs> the field's almost done. We'll bring it through here. We'll drop it off. There you go. Going in. There's the rye. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> day ain't much so let's go down into our production chains we'll take a look at it uh and that is turned on good 150 and 113 that's awesome it's not gonna make a bunch but hey it'll be more than zero i'll take more than zero that's pretty cool oh spin around best backwards driver and and okay forwards driver and farm sim oh yeah the final bit here we go we just gonna hit it at first person because well i'm not gonna miss anything yeah Nice, all right, cool. So there's that. 
Then we've got 23,000 more liters. So that's 123,000 liters. Should give us uh, some. some. Yep, some flour. And some flour is... That's better than no flour, I guess. And with that, this harvest is over. Boom, boom, boom. Cool beans, man. Cool beans. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, we'll put it back at the other farm, and then we'll worry about getting the rest of the straw up, which uh, is just these two little bits. Uh, and then we've gotta take the other to cart, and then we'll be good to go. Why in the world? That is so confusing. Final number of straw comes to 57,500. 57,575,646. I did bad at that. That was really bad. <laughs> Why is the dog all the way over here? I swear the dog, all these oxy maps, the dogs just get further and further away. All right, we'll put this in here. We'll see how much straw we've got. It's, it's really just a ridiculous amount at this point. Uh, the good thing is, at least, we are utilizing the straw as filler. How much do we have? Uh, 1.5 million liters. That seems like a lot. The last rye is going in. Best backwards driver for himself. There we go. Just a little bit too quick. That's all. Just a little bit too quick. Truck of Matsy, you didn't see anything. Drop it off. There we go. All right. So now we've got rye in here. Boom, there. It is going through the rye pretty quickly. So that's kind of nice. We'll take this and we will put this over at the main farm and... And I think from there we need to maybe figure out what crops are going to go in the fields, but we don't actually need to do that now. We could do it tomorrow in game if we want to, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. We'll figure that out. I have made the decision. We are going to get some planting done today. It's midday in November, so we've got plenty of time to do it. And I am going to do some grass work in December, but we will probably do that off screen as well. That's it, it, I did that last episode, and I'll do it again in the next one, probably. So, so we're going to skip one. <laughs> I'm just going to get a little bit of work done. Uh, we've got some fertilizing to do here. Uh, the crops, I'm actually not quite sure what I'm going to put down yet. I am going to have to make that decision. I've been looking through, you know, of course, we just did the new crops that came with this uh, the, this map. I thought about doing like a weird one, doing like some corn with uh, other stuff. But the thing is like, we can't really use corn. We can't really use any of the crops other than grass that we have. So it makes me wonder like, okay, if we can't utilize any crops other than grass, well then we need to do something that makes us some money. I got it figured out. I'm gonna need a judge free zone. The answer's on the screen right now if you wanna look. Uh, we're going grass and oats, man. It is my favorite combo. You can pretty much do whatever you want with both of those crops. And especially if you have cattle, you could just do grass and oats constantly and be perfectly fine. I mean, of course, if you want to do silage in a different way, but you could do that. But I prefer grass silage. I think it makes things a little bit easier. So that's what we gotta do. So oats in all of the crop fields and then grass will be done in the uh well the grass fields that we already have we're gonna get a lot of oats one other great thing about the oats is we don't use them for the cattle we need the straw so we'll take that we'll deliver it over to the grain mill and we'll make a bunch of bread because that's so stereotypical for me it ain't even funny there's one other thing to note that i'd completely forgotten about until just now if we go in and take a look at our animals real quick uh not the sheep but the cattle. So they're both 26 months old and that's good. We're at reproduction rate of 80%. Cool, again, perfectly fine. But if we go over here and look at the bottom right hand corner when we get near the cattle area, it's gonna show us something at the bottom. Offspring in two months. Right now we are staying, that is inside the tractor. Uh, right now we're staying within reason with grass fields that we have. I am guessing eventually we're probably going to have to swap this field that's in front of us. We're probably going to have to make this a grass field as well. I just don't know. I mean, we're going to go from 250, no, 500 cattle to 1,000 head of cattle in, in two days in January. So I foresee issues 
with that. I don't know what the problems are going to be. I don't know if we're going to have enough food or not. Uh, one thing I know is that right now we do. So that's a good thing. But we may not later on down the road. So one or two of these fields may have to swap over to a grass field. I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, I also mentioned that we could buy the TMR. I... I, I, I made that decision and said, yes, we're going to buy the TMR, but I'm, I'm kind of enjoying doing the work. I don't really want to waste the time with that. Plus, we'd just be spending the money on other crops that make the money for us. Maybe that's what we need to do. I don't know. Uh, drop it down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Should we buy that TMR or not? Uh, I don't know. The Funny enough, the video that I mentioned that we would buy the TMR. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's coming out about... Uh, a week from now when I'm recording this I'm recording stuff a little bit early I don't know man I don't know either way I do know that uh, I think for right now we are going to be done with this one hope you enjoyed it drop a like do all the good good stuff spin this round yeah yeah there we go alright cool uh, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all this stuff done and then we'll fast forward today and I'll go ahead and get all the grass up so that we've got that ready to go um, and hopefully we'll see you guys in January uh, we'll uh, we'll kind of see what happened with cattle once we go from 250 or 250 500 up to a thousand so we'll see you guys then